Hi, everyone, and thank you all for joining the CAN demo today. Let's jump right into a Hoodoo instance and show off some of the key features and benefits that Hoodoo has. Hoodoo is a product that serves as a single source of truth for your documentation. We start here on the dashboard, which serves as a jumping out point for your admin. You can jump into your process tasks, what you were recently working on, and look through the activity feed to monitor what your technicians are doing. Now we're going to jump into our company section and directly into a sample company. This overview essentially acts as a dashboard for this client. Hoodoo keeps everything siloed, so each space created contains its own documentation, but you do have standardization across all clients. On this overview page, we have a Mapbox integration set up, some quick notes for the company, as well as our other recents and most visited for that company. In addition, you are able to further customize your client dashboard using Hoodoo's REST API. And we have an example of that here with the Magic Dash, bringing in other information like an internal client dashboard and network diagram to the forefront of our company page. In addition, each company also has a museum, which acts as an archive to store old and inactive information and is a great tool for change control as well as to declutter your Hoodoo environment and keep you organized. Now, jumping into our first core tool here, our password section, this is where you can store and organize all your passwords related to this specific client. You can organize in a couple different ways, through password tagging and through password folders. In addition, you can set up permission levels with your password folders. So if we have an admin password folder here, we can ensure that no one under that admin role level will have access to these admin password folders. In addition, each password can be quickly copied to the username, the password, and the OTP code. Clicking into a password here, we can now copy and reveal the password from this section, as well as the OTP code. And in addition, Hoodoo does have lots of free sharing options, so we can scroll down here and create a one-off share link, adding the information that we need, go ahead and creating the link, and sharing this out by either copying to our clipboard or sending via email. If I want this link to expire before the hour is up, I can go ahead and expire it at any time. Sharing password links from Hoodoo can give your customers a better experience and gives you the ability to brand another touch point with those customers. Now, going into our next tool, our processes section, Processes serve as your step-by-step -step guides created to standardize the completion of a certain task and your SOPs. With processes, you can keep your technicians on task with reproducible results. Clicking into a new process here, we're able to build this process out step-by-step -step exactly how you want it to look. You can also make processes global process templates. This essentially allows you to reuse these processes as needed, so as soon as we need to activate one for this company, we're able to do so. Clicking into an example process here, we have all of our steps laid out for how this process is to be completed. We can check steps off as they are completed. As we click into a step, we can see the notes for task completion, assign users, due dates, priority levels, and writing completion notes once a task is finished. In addition, if we have a ticket come into our PSA that directly relates to this process, we can easily copy all of our completed tasks from Hoodoo into that PSA ticket, which can save your text time and eliminate mistakes. Now, say a manager of this company wants to know how this process is coming along, we can send them a real-time status update of this process. This will live update for them, showing when each step was completed, giving whomever you send this to a true live view into this specific process. Now, jumping into our next section, our KB section, here you can store and organize your articles, such as your how-to guides, other articles, and documents. You can create folders and subfolders for your KB organization, and you can also start from templates, just like how we were able to do so with processes. If we want to standardize the way our articles are written, then you can create a KB template and use that for some or all of your articles. Now, jumping into an example article here, we have our table of contents for easy navigation to any information you may need. 
Um, if you're using scripting, it'll show the scripting you're using as well as the ability to copy it to your clipboard. And you do have a public share link for your KB articles as well. The editor is going to be a full WYSIWYG editor. You can change things such as the headers, which are what populate the table of contents for the article, adding in block quote and inline code where needed, as well as callouts like this danger callout you see above. Once I finish my edits to this article, I can choose a folder for those organizational purposes or just simply publish. Now, I did briefly want to touch that we do have a global KB section as well. So if you have articles that relate to all of your clients, then they can be located in the global KB rather than this company specific KB. Now, within each article, we do also have revision history. So I can click into the most recent update of the article and see each time this article has been changed from its creation. I can see who made the changes and when they were made and jump back to any previous version if needed. Compare differences will show me the code of the article and allow me to see exactly what has been taken out and added in from the previous changes. Hudu does also have revision history for all passwords and assets, so you can always track and audit those items as well. The next core tool here is going to be our photo section. Any photo that you have related to this company can be uploaded here or uploaded on a rack or asset. You can then click into the photo and see exactly where that photo lives um, within this company. Our next tool here is going to be our network section. Um, as I click into the network range for this um, company, here we can see the number of usable IP addresses and what all those IP addresses are currently doing. In this section, you can also track the details about a network and the subnets inside a network. Our next section is going to be our rack management section. Um, here we see all of our devices that are located on this rack. And when we're adding one in, we can specify the rows it takes up what rack side is it is on, front, rear, or full depth, and what device is actually located on this row in this rack. Um, you can specify a rack of arbitrary height, give it a name, and choose whether you want your rows in ascending or descending order. In addition, each rack's power can be tracked and managed by total utilization and power draw, and you are always easily able to print out a line-by-line -line document of the rack, so you do have a hard copy of it if needed. Now, going into our next tool, our websites tool, um, we're going to click directly into a website, and here we will see the status and expirations, was, which was populated just from putting in the website URL. The expirations will easily be identifiable on this right-hand side, but if I click into the expirations tool, this will show me all expirations across this client. Here you can view and sort all of those expiration, and as I mentioned, Hudu automatically tracks expirations for any website that is linked. I've also added additional expirations here for my articles for auditing purposes and warranty expirations for my devices. You can also set up alerts for all of your expirations that can be triggered via webhook or sent directly to an email. Now taking a step back for a second, I do want to touch on the external portal. The external portal is the most comprehensive way of storing and sharing documentation and building a portal that hosts all of it. It is used for people who you want to give access to certain information, but who don't need editing capabilities. Here we can configure different assets, passwords, and more for the end user to view. View portal will show me what these users can see, and I can go into a password and copy and reveal from this section, I just can't make any changes. The external portal is completely for free for unlimited portal users. The next section that I want to touch on is assets. Assets serve as customizable containers to help you organize your information. Clicking into our desktop's asset layout and into a asset, here we see an integration card come in from Ninja containing all of the information that we can bring in for this desktop. Integrations in Hudu sync every three hours, but you can always manually resync your integration cards or entire integrations at any point if you choose to as well. Now, I've also added additional information to this asset by using Hudu's flexible asset layouts. I've added a copyable IP address, a warranty expiration for the device, and who this was last serviced by. 
Now you can use relationships in Hudu to essentially create a web of your documentation, ensuring you are always one click away from what you need access to. If we need to see who the primary owner of this desktop is, we can go to our relationship section and easily find that, click into Tom Green, and we do retain that connection with our desktop here as all relationships are two-way connected. Um, Jumping into our admin tab and into our asset layout section, here is where you can manage all those existing asset layout templates or create new ones. You have the ability to choose which asset layouts you want to be active across all client interfaces. When creating a new asset layout, you can start from scratch, building it out field by field exactly how you want it to look, or you can start from a template that Hoodoo has already created for you. These templates are still completely flexible and customizable. I can click into an example asset layout here, and here we can add new fields based on the information we want to track, rearrange the fields so they show in a different order, and edit or delete any field I choose. If I click into edit field here, here we have all of these different field types to choose from. Maybe I want to use a text box, maybe a checkbox, or maybe a date if I'm tracking certain expirations across my Hoodoo instance. Now, I touched on our Ninja integration card earlier. Going into our integrations tab, here are all of our integrations that we have within our Hoodoo instance. You'll see here all of your integrations that are active will show as these blue icons here. In terms of security, in product, you can enable 2FA, SAML SSO, and enable IP access control, as well as set up various granular permissions throughout your Hoodoo instance. Also, we are SOC 2 Type 2, HIPAA, PCI DSS, and GDPR compliant. In addition, Hoodoo does have external apps as well. We do have a mobile app. We have a browser extension, Hoodoo Assist for accessing your Hoodoo documentation inside of your PSA or RMM, and a ConnectWise Screen Connect extension. Thank you all so much for joining this CAN demo. If you have any questions at all, feel free to put a comment below or reach out to us at our support team at support.hoodoo.com. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful rest of your day.